going to try to answer a question I get a lot here today. Vertical foregrip. Basically, uh, I, a lot of people ask me what I think of them, how to use them, how do you want, how do you want to hold the rifle, things like that. I'm using a 22 here just to illustrate the point. I will step up to a real rifle here at the end to show you how all these things uh, come into play. Um, but basically, there's some advantages of a vertical foregrip. There's also some disadvantages. Um, one thing for a lot of guys who are military, law enforcement, things like that, guys who work with a rifle in their hand, what I'm doing right here, uh, the vertical foregrip comes in hand for sure. If you ever have to walk around on patrols for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on end, the vertical foregrip definitely helps uh, with the weight of the rifle as you're walking. So if you're just walking around, obviously a sling helps, but having that extra point that you can really just kind of hold the rifle with your hands, always at the low ready, it's definitely an advantage of the uh, vertical foregrip. Another thing that's an advantage of it is that when you're shooting a rifle, one way, one of the better ways, I should say, or more important ways to, to mitigate the recoil impulse is you want to actually pull the rifle back into your shoulder. A lot of the uh, three-gun shooters and things like that that you'll see out there will use real thin um, foregrips here, so that way they can get their better grip around it with their hand and pull in, and that's what they're doing. They're doing the same thing. With a vertical foregrip, um, you're, you can get up on the uh, up on the rail here on the rifle itself and really pull in. It gives you that extra ability to pull in and keep that rifle tight in your shoulder, which is going to do a lot of things. It's going to give you a nice cheek weld. It's also going to keep that front sight more steady so that way you can stay on the target and your follow-up shots will be faster. So something like that is what you want to do. Now what you don't want to do, at least in my opinion anyway, is you don't want to grab the uh, vertical foregrip like this. And uh, the reason you don't want to do that, again, my opinion here, I know some guys do it. And if you do it and you've never had an issue with what I'm about to say, drive on. I'm not telling you how to shoot your rifle. I'm trying to answer the questions for the new guys out there. All right, so if you do this, one thing I notice is a lot of people, I sh uh, when I'm teaching them how to shoot new shooters, if they have a vertical foregrip, they're holding it like this. For right-handed shooters, like myself, they tend to pull the shots left. It happens very frequently. <laughs> Definitely frequently enough that I think it's definitely an issue. It's something you want to avoid. So when they're up on target, they're trying to pull into their shoulder, but naturally because their shoulder is off to the left, they're pulling the muzzle to the left slightly. So it causes the shots, if they miss, they generally miss left. What you want to do, in my opinion, is get your hand up in there like that. So I have big hands, but even if you don't have big hands, you kind of want to be up on it. And that way I think you get the most control on the rifle um, and just pull that that rifle into your shoulder to mitigate that recoil. Another thing it does is for guys who like to use lights. So if you use a light or a laser, something like that in your gun, your thumb's already up there, whether you want to mount it at the 9, the 12, whatever, 10, 11 o'clock, if you're left-handed, the opposite sides of the clock. It definitely helps you have your thumb ready to maneuver to activate that light and practice good light discipline. So up next we're going to show you what it looks like on a real rifle. We're back out here with the uh, real AR-15 this time. This one here is a 5.56 chambered uh, FN cold hammer forged barrel. It's a medium profile barrel, so it's not real heavy, so you're definitely gonna have to do a little bit of work to keep that rifle in your shoulder and your muzzle parallel to the target and uh, your front sight on that target. So what we're gonna do here is show you what, basically what I was talking about, gripping it, like I said. Now we do have a uh, thinner rail in this rifle. We have the Midwest Industries, but we still have the vertical foregrip. And as you can see here, I have the light on there. So if I want, if I'm firing and I want to transition to that light, it's very simple. Just move your thumb. So anyway, we're going to do it and show you what it looks like with the real rifle. Albeit the AR doesn't have much recoil to begin with. But anyway, we'll keep it on target. There's a target about 50 meters down range. And I'm going to put these rounds right on it pretty much as fast as I can while pulling the rifle into my shoulder. There you go. You can see there my muzzle was kind of was not jumping a lot and that was because I was pulling it into my shoulder. Now if I'm going to do something different, basically just hold it up like this. You can see the rifle is definitely moving on around a little bit more. So that's basically vertical foregrips, how I think they should be used and what my opinion of them. It's just uh, make sure you're pulling it into your shoulder and keep that muzzle on target. As always guys, if you have any questions about this, any other tip I have, any other review I do, feel free to post them here. You can also post the questions over on my Facebook page. But thanks for watching and uh, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next video.